care whether she's blind or not, she'll make a fine notch on your belt. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. You said it. Shit. Oh, you said it. Welcome to episode number six. Demonetized. Oh, six. Of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And let me tell you something right now, all right? Oh, fucking hell. What? Aircon's on. Oh, give me a feel. <laughs> give me a feel as you stand. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at these behind. It looks. What about long. the people on Spotify, Matt? Are you going to just keep saying shit like that and not explain yourself? So. Michael looks weird. We all look weird. Oh, God, Bosley. I would have fucking kicked fucking you. Fucking good boy. Hard. Good boy, Bosley. No, not good boy. Yeah, good boy. Um, Basically, uh, Michael's wearing like a diaper and it just, the behind looks horrible. Check it out, YouTube. Feels anyway, right. Sorry. Anyway, episode six, Muddy and Michael, fully actual podcast. How the fuck's it going, cunt? Fuck yeah, brother. Fuck yeah, cunt. Fuck yeah, yeah brother. <laughs> oh, stop <laughs> it. We're fucking into the season now. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that chair is cracking. That chair is cracking before our eyes. I don't like We that. have... We saw it cracking at the end of last episode, so we did um, think ahead and we have ordered another chair, an emergency chair. Yeah, holy shit. Is what it is here? It? No, it's not here yet. What's but the no, point I got, of that? I got a backup backup chair. Oh, yeah, and we also have another backup chair. Just so let me have relax. a normal one if this one breaks. Matt, Maybe. shut up. Come on, man. Yeah. Anyway, six episodes into the season, we're well and truly in now. Last week's episode didn't get demonetized. What do you guys think of the season so far? Why don't you tell us in the comments what you like and don't like, and yeah. what you what you miss and what you really like about the season? Because we don't fucking know. Yeah. All right? How about Just, a round of applause? All right, give us a fucking clap, cunt. And even everyone at home, stand up, stand up, and give us a clap, and give us a like, and a uh, subscribe, and a five star review on Spotify. I noticed this week that what? we've gone from one point seven to one point eight. Oh wow! Five star Spotify. reviews, very good. So we didn't get to two K, but I want to see if we can get to two K. Dude, so you're just going to be disappointed. No, because this week they sort of helped me out a bit. But how nice. <laughs> Bones <laughs> what you, I'm so what you fucking know, take scared. Your, take your laptop out with you. No, I was going to pick it up, but I'm too scared to move. Well, just be still. You hear that? Yeah, That's it's thunder. It's thunder. Fuck dad, man. A little bit of lightning. <clears throat> a little bit of thunder. It's probably my chair. Uh, anyway, Sorry. we got a jam-packed episode. Poor, uh, we were going to get Jackson on, but he um, turns out he's busy. So next week we got Lockie. Yep, Lockie's on Hopefully next week. Lo- Lockie Gottfried's going to come on. Um, and this episode, yeah, we've got a really cool Who's the Better Brown. What do you mean? Oh, we've got a special occasion. It's I'm just going to tell you. Member, is it? I'm just going to tell you. I don't know. It could be. His, na- like- his name's Jonathan Brown. Does that ring a bell to you? What, the AFL player? You know who that is? <laughs> Bullshit, it's Jonathan Brown. You know Brown. AFL? <laughs> I knew Jonathan Brown. You know he's a three-time premiership winner? I know who he is. For the Brisbane Lions? There's no way Jonathan Brown... Has messaged in and be like, yeah, yeah, how's it going, yeah, Jonathan Brown? Anyway, very special. Well, anyway. Who's the better Brown? Um, what else we got? We got Matt versus Michael. We got fucking Michael's movie review. Which movie are you reviewing? Three hundred. Oh, three hundred. What that was last week. Um, what else? I reckon we'll throw in a lie to Lockie. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah. do get shit talk out of the way, and then we'll fucking jump straight into that. Shit and we're there. gonna well, lie do you to do it now because you're a bit on the edge about it. No, 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 it's all right. We can do a little bit of shit talk. That's fine. We filmed a video with Steve-O. It's out on the website now. We did some stunts for him and we got him to rate out of 10 what he thought of the stunts. It was a fucking dream come true, cunt. Yeah, we did it. On yeah. the website now, go and have a fucking geese. We couldn't post it to social media. You'll see why. There's a 21-day free trial, so you don't have to pay. You can just watch it and then just unsubscribe if you couldn't be fucked staying on. But Please. just, I just want people to see it. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, we, we can't, we should probably, we should post it to fucking... After a while, let's post it for to fucking Rumble or Twitter or something. Maybe, but like it won't. Yeah, we can't do it to YouTube. It only the no way. YouTube would delete. But we've got us a YouTube censored version that leads up to us meeting Steve-O. Yeah, and then the performance, which is too fucked for social media, will be on the website, and that's a whole range of fucked up shit. Sorry. Sorry. Um, so yeah, it's it's rough going at the moment for a like fuck me the. The heart shit. So again, last week, uh, oh sorry, a couple of days ago, wore the twenty-four hour heart rate monitor. 
so hard to sleep with so itchy all fucking night and then like i did some intense cardio in the morning to try and get my heart to do that thing that it does i don't know if it did or not and then the next and then had the heart echo and then just it's just been thing after thing and then esther my uh, stepdaughter she has gastro so she's been in hospital the last two nights so it's just been sleepless night it's just been thing after thing and we haven't really been filming that much because we haven't had time and i just keep getting fucking no energy and it's just hard to try and be funny when there's just so much shit going on it's just thing after thing cunt. it has been jam-packed for you also did she get morphine no she no they don't give a fucking kids no. morphine well maybe they do i got morphine as a kid when oh, i had a ear really? infection yeah, yeah. it was the probably best. kids doses probably made me what like i've really gone into drugs from but like <laughs> Fucking yeah. hell, that's dark. It's uh <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying if you're a kid and you get morphine, it changes your life. No, they just like had to get her blood sugar up, so they just put an IV drip in her and stuff and because she couldn't keep anything down. And like, yeah, it's just stressful because if I get this gastro right now, well, I've got all this high blood pressure shit going on again. I'm measuring it like a madman. I do like 10 readings in the morning and then like work out an average. It takes me like fucking half an hour to an hour of re- taking my blood pressure every day and it's not that bad it's really bad after i eat it sits at like 140 over 80 that probably doesn't mean anything to you that too. doesn't seem like I know. I know it's like meant to be 120 over 60 right over 80 120 so like over 80. fuck 20 more who cares that's well that's what, I, that's what i mean but it does shoot up after i eat like especially so maybe if it's, it's a, a bad food meal. related thing well that's what it could be yeah it could be something spiking my food could you have like diabetes a, a, no they checked yeah. it could be like i'm intolerant to something I don't know, oh, but anyway. Dude, do you know what you should do? That food test. Yeah, I should do that. Yeah, That's Michael did that and carrots are a no-go for him. And nectarines. Yeah. yeah. Well, but, um, fuck, so, man. guys, it's been a flat... <laughs> 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 That's chair has broken. Matt's chair has broken. She said flat, that happened. <laughs> Flat Matt. <laughs> Flat Matt. Flat <laughs> Brown. Oh, my God. Oh, it's stuck into me. Perfect timing. There you go, guys. So a bit of bad news and a bit of good news. <laughs> Man, that was Croatian. <laughs> you were just from Croatia for a bit. Can you help me? <laughs> I'll go get a new chair. No way are we helping you, Matt. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Oh, fuck, that was good. Oh, it stuck right into my butt. <laughs> Matt's chair is broken. We need to get him a new one. But yeah, we haven't been filming that much, but we're still getting some vids in the bank. But hopefully next week, after I get the results, it's back to fucking normal around here, and we start pumping out, and we get back to high energy and fun loving, man, because I'm fucking sick of it. It's been a month of just nothing but worrying about health shit. If it's not exciting, I get to cut your hair. <laughs> I can't fun. sit on that. <laughs> He's never going to fit on that. Dude, I'm not going to be able to fit on Just that. Just have a go, Matt. Just have a <laughs> fucking go. I'm going to have a go. Where is your sense of spirit? I can. Look at Michael can sit on it. Yeah, Look. but you're a fucking... He rocks and everything. Extra. Sorry, He's... I was about to get personal. Let me go. Come on. <laughs> what were you going to say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if he gets into it, it might be on him person- per- for permanently. I don't think there'll be any getting out of it. So oh! we- <laughs> My dick won't fit. I'll put a pillow there for you. Hang on. Yeah, my dick won't go. All right, we'll just sit on the back of it. I can't. Try and figure something out. This is stupid. Oh, I've got it. Yeah. I've got a massive dick. So for those wondering on Spotify, we've got a little tiny plastic rocking horse for him, but it's too small for him. So Michael's turned it on its side and now Matt's sitting on it. And he says it's very comfortable. We have a very good... You keep sending in your chair suggestions, guys. There's been some absolute rippers. Let's do some sponsors, eh? All right. I'll do the sponsor. Which one? Do you want to do AG1 or would you like to do Manscaped? We can all do AG1, I think. Okay, yeah. Look, I just had it before. I did too. Oh, my God. It's- I had no energy and I was thinking about having a mother. But I was like, no, I want to be healthy. And then instant energy boost. I'm not guilty. I don't feel bad for what I did. No sugar in me. It's just health... With wealth, I must say, it's, the money. it's one of the good things that I go to, especially when I'm feeling a bit shit. 
and it immediately it's good, gentle on the on the on the stomach and i've got the beginnings of gastro i reckon i've had two liquid shits today and i feel flat as fuck and i haven't slept properly a bit of fucking ag1 peps me right up you he fucking cunt he didn't have any that's why that's, that's why that's, that's why, why the chair you look broke. like that if you had had AG1, the chair wouldn't have broke. There's 75 vital nutrients in there to help you if you're lacking in shit. And people are lacking in shit they don't even fucking know about, cunt. Yeah. So have some AG1. Now, I did see a comment someone said, oh, it says $98, but then I got charged $140. It's probably $98 USD. So it's about $140 a month, but it's a daily thing you have, right? And it's fucking healthy for you. It's like having your veggies every day. Mm. So like, there's probably people that have never had veggies. It helps you live longer. Those people that are having it, write in the comments what you think of the flavor because I don't fucking mind it at all yeah. considering how fucking healthy it is. Matt, it's the healthiest thing you ever have. Have you been having it? Yeah. Are you no, being honest? Just, yeah. Promise? So, yeah. There you go, guys. Even Matt Brown has AG1. That's how tolerable it is. So go to Athletic Green slash Fully Actual, and you'll get a free travel pack, which means you get one of them scoops and you can have shit on the on the go. You don't even need the little satchels. All right. So just have a look at it. Trust me, it's fucking healthy. It's seriously, we all have it here now every day. Even our editors are into it now. It's it's good shit. I have it twice, sometimes three. Yeah, depending on how busy and fucked we are. Three times a day. Once that, what's as the soon recommended as I, dose? I think it's meant to be one a day, no, but if you you're down, twice. if you're down, you can when I wake more. up before gym and then in the afternoon. It's not protein powder. Yeah, you're meant to have protein once a day. Yeah. Yeah, it's just really, really, I just get an energy kick. It's like having it's like getting sucked off by a prostitute on meth, cunt. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's exactly what it's like, and I'm pretty sure that's their mission statement. Oh, okay. Maybe. Athletic Greens slash Fully Actual. Go and get your head sucked off. <laughs> Health-wise. <laughs> oh, I'm all itchy. There's a link in the description, everyone. Go and have a look, all right? Click on it and go and have a fucking look. It's the only reason we can do this. Yeah, one of. Oh. The website's probably the main. So, AG1 won't be taking that credit, thank you. So. So, yeah. How are you, mate? Yeah. Have you really got on the tip of gastro? I, I, I don't know. I feel really shit today. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And, uh, of course, our other sponsor, which will be led by Michael today because I don't really have any energy right now. All right. So, basically, let me put it this way. You're a man... And you're hairy. You buy this, you use it, you are now non-hairy. What? That's crazy results. If you do this, you will be cleaner, clearer, and cleaner. The three C's? That's unbelievable. Tell us more. You can do this and you'll be able to have confidence, cake, and confidence. That's three. That's another. That's six C's now. That's three K's. That's triple, triple, triple K's. Three K's. Three K's. That's not at all racist. Back to back. Three Pete's. Also, if you have the <laughs> 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 man's got one mind having KKK in there. <laughs> uh, uh, ads read. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like Kmart or something. Yeah, I get it. Okay, you can buy normal shavers, but they're shit. All right, they always break, they rust, and they're not rad, like Manscaped. Because you can use them in water, can't you? Yep, in the shower, I do it. All right, you know how hard, I, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. Before I had Manscaped, I never shaved. And I'd have these wiry, they go yellow, my pubes. <laughs> <laughs> they get like white at the end. Sick. It's like weird, I think it's all like the skin at the base. No, it's like, crabs. Different I don't know. texture. I had like this weird rash disease where... I could scrape because I never washed there. I could scrape like this weird dust scab shit off at the bottom. STDs. No, it wasn't. It wasn't an STD because I got it checked. It's just not cleaning. So like when you have this, it makes it easier because you can still cut it when it gets to that stage, but you can just every day in the shower- just have a scrape. Just scrape with it. How and then it goes over your balls. So all you dirty cunts out there with fucking skin hanging off your unwashed ball sacks- Go to manscaped.com slash fully actual. 
and use our discount code fully actual 20 to get 20 percent off man i love the little light that is on it because you can see where you're going like it makes the path clear yeah that's so true that's, that's honestly great point it's the smallest little like thing, detail but, yeah detail but it's it, sci-fi new tech age that's yeah. well said man <laughs> It's also for women too, and those women with hairy breasts. Yeah, yeah. Give also those breasts dogs. a shave. There's weird tits that have like yeah hair on them. Very you unlikely to it. nick your nipples if you're shaving your breasts as a woman. Mm. And like for the old ladies, <laughs> how's he's, that going? He's uncomfortable on his chair thing. <laughs> <It's> so shit. <laughs> Manscaped. Fully actual 20 for 20% off. Go there and have a look at the shit. There's a link in the description. Go and have a fucking look there. The bees, knees, cunt. I'll be back next week for those who don't. Did you shit? Not yet. Oh, man. Fucking hell. I'm so thrown off that that prank call didn't work now. It's all right. We can just fucking literally just do Arnold Fine feeling Randy at a massage parlor. What, what about we call prank call Connor? Yeah. Prank call Connor and say something like... Um, We're being we sued <laughs> for the editing of the podcast. What about, yeah, we say we are being sued. We're being sued oh, for... Oh, no, what if we tell him, like, I'll just be like, oh, look, um, the podcast isn't going very well this season. I think we're going to have to, like, can it. Oh, I'm thinking he can... Oh, we lost our channel. I'm thinking that he can. He's like, fuck. He just knows now because he's editing it. But we would have already oh, called yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, already called him. Um, should we say we've lost our channel? Like it's been deleted? No, no, no. We we're, we're saying that. Uh, let's do something about a lie. Oh yeah, we could say we've had we've got two strikes now, and that we're gonna have to fucking hold off from posting. Or should, or should we say Elias is going? This is more of a lying segment now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right, let's get the horoscopes out of the way, eh? This. Fucking pink thing sucks. Can you press the horoscopes button? <laughs> Which one is it again? Red. Horoscopes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a segment where um, I get compile all the oh, yes. most expert horoscopians information together and deliver the horoscopes for Michael's horoscope, Julian's horoscope, and Matt just tells me what he did on the weekend. No, can you just read me my horoscope? (laughs) Well, Matt, this is what it's turned into. Your dad fucked it by fucking twisting all the horoscopes fucking up, remember? Don't fucking fuck me up. Yeah, and you got to save Quelch. People want to know what Pisces. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This this has taken over an entire horoscope sign. I reckon even the victims that you do have... They are what all victims. Pisces. You're making me out to be a serial killer. Matt, okay. But I'm not, clearly not that. Yeah, Let me look be at clear. the way you're dressed, okay? All right, Taurus. <clears throat> As the cosmic energy of two raped suns screams across our galaxy, your scrot rot will fester and bleed into your nappy. Try and stay away from sexy animals as the perverted side of your personality will shine through over the next few days. Your family is dead. <laughs> Fucking hell. Dude, that's like weird how spot on that is. You're wearing a nappy. Yeah, fuck it. They are right. And your scrot rot that you just spoke about on Manscaped. And they're the right where it's W-R-I-T-E. They're S- right. Scrot rot. You just spoke about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, So yeah. This, that's how accurate that fucking horoscope Dude, is. Dude, I'm not even kidding about that. I had this weird... Fu- anyway, it was weird. Yeah, yeah. Look, scro- well, horoscope picked it up. And it's right. literally... Eh, not All right. Good. Julian's. Here we go. Jul- I forget what Julian's is. It's like fucking uh, a dead rat or something. Solar winds will flare up your herpes, so get your roots in before Thursday. There's a dead cat rotten in your garage, so park on the streets for a bit. <laughs> Mars walked in on the moon wanking, which means you might have a win at Keno at the local RSL. Tell your mum you think about fucking blokes, but then deny it immediately after. Saturn's a fucking pussy cunt, I'll fucking fuck that dog. All right, you know, there's always a bit of like homo... Homo eroticness. Yeah. 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 Ever since he came back from Thailand... Oh, I think it was Bali, but yeah. It's the same country. Same, <laughs> same place. Exactly the same country. It's just different like dialects of how you say, pronounce the name. All right, Matt's uh, horoscope Ooh. that he sent me. <clears throat> oh. All right, are you right, Matt? Can I read yeah, without like, being interrupted? You keep can being you... ruckus and it's pissing me off. I think Sorry. I found the groove. Are you good? 
All yeah. right, let's like, let's hear what you've done. All right, <laughs> all right, here we go. I was sitting in the food court enjoying some thick chicken wings with gravy and mash. I gobbled down the chicken skin and eagerly sucked the juice off my swollen fingers. Mm, delicious. My keen sight picked up movement in the distance. I watched the female toilet door, door open and a sweaty, morbidly obese lady waddled out. She was holding her ass and her face had an expression of shock and extreme pain. This indicated to me that the shit she had just done in there was nothing short of violent. I had to get a whiff. One last mouthful of mash, and then I discarded my chicken carcass in the closest bin. Luckily for me, the men's toilet was right next to the female toilet. I urgently walked over, and while no one was watching, I ducked into the female toilet. I opened the door, and to my horror, another lady was there washing her hands. Our eyes met, and I noticed her glance down my shirt at the large grease stains I had just picked up with with my lunch. I had to think quickly. Uh, I, uh, I'm a woman. The lady looks confused and scared. I mean, I identify as a woman. So I use the woman's toilet. Her face softened. She believed me. <laughs> Good on you. She smiled at me. I can't believe that worked. What a dumb bitch. <laughs> I, thought to, I thought to myself as I started sniffing the air impatiently. <laughs> I had to locate the toilet that the monstrous lady had just used. There were three toilet stalls, two of which were unoccupied. I pushed the door of the first stall open and stuck my head in. I inhaled as deeply as I could. <coughs> Nothing but a bit of piss slinging in the air. I moved to the second stall, and before I even open the door, I am smashed in the face by what can only be described as the most intense smell I have ever experienced. It smelt of dark, deep, gut rot, burnt pus with fear, with hints of hot, unwashed yeast slit. The smell fills my lungs and my skin oozed with cream. I spart and kick the door open and close the door behind me. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I nearly pass out as the scent contains barely any oxygen, just pure scent. My hand shoots down my pants and I begin squeezing my little brown. I bend down and open the toilet lid. My eyes bulge out of my head when I see that there are huge, thick skid marks caked up the entire bowl of the toilet. I drop to my knees and as I continue milking myself, I put my head inside the toilet bowl and inhale once more. <laughs> I can't handle it. The smell saturates my shaking body and I lose control. Euphoria floods my system and tears spit from my eyes. I'm so hard it hurts and my hand is a blur as I pleasure myself in a frenzy. What is that? I don't know, run! I hear the women outside the toilet panic and sprint out. I lean right in so my nose is one centimetre away from the skid marks and inhale one last time. Ah! I black out! When I come to, my mint is plastered all over the toilet stall, and the toilet itself is smashed into pieces. I must have lost myself. Feeling a little ashamed, I quietly get up and leave the toilet. Once outside, I see the women that were in the toilet with me, that were crying and shaking and speaking to security. I turn and bound backwards home. What a treat. <laughs> Oh man, I got a shit send at the end. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb bitch. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, it's getting oh a little concerning, man. I feel like you're a fucking. I feel like you're a drug addict just getting close to relapsing. Oh, That's man. what it feels like to me. And I'm oh. worried. Oh, oh wow, that's cute. You build a barrier. Build a barrier. Anyway. What's the Rebellio. Let's do oh, what's the time? Holy shit, man. All right, let's that do that was intense. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> fucking wild cunt. Alright, let's do Matt vs. Michael. And then we'll do Who's the Better Brown. Would you care to play the Matt vs. Michael song? Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. <laughs> Bottle of cum. Where are you going? Alright, sorry about that. I'll wait for Michael to sit back down. 
brown, brown, have, have, brown, have, have, brown today. Oh, man, that was fucking good, that story. Thank you. What you did on the weekend. Very, very proud of you, Brown. And we're back. All right. For today's Matt versus Michael, it's 3-2 to Michael overall, and they are fighting for the most precious, valuable liquid ever stored in a bottle. Right here we have Matt's mints, and the winner of this competition will get to keep it and do with it whatever they please. So there's a lot up for grabs, and today's competition is... Who can take the longest money shot? I knew. I knew as soon as he said, where's the urine? I was like, I bet you he's going to fucking make it so we, we get aerosol fucking diseases. I don't get oh, how, how you gonna- bad this shit is for you. How are you going to do it? So... I will start spraying it into your face and I will start the timer at the same time. When you lift your right hand, I will stop spraying and I will stop the timer. And that is your time. You have to try and beat each other's time. And that will, whoever has the longest time will indicate who can take the biggest money shot on their face. Where I come from, money shot. Oh, we could lie to Julian. Hey, dude, what's up? Oh, are you sick? Yeah, dude, it's not fucking good. Oh, really? Esther has gastro, so I'm pretty sure I'm getting it too. Oh, fuck, that's no good. I was calling to see if we were filming tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go to a fucking hospital at this rate. Oh, really? Yeah, Esther went to hospital and, um, yeah, fuck. I just can't keep anything down. Oh, true. So it's just like vomiting and diarrhea and stuff. Yeah. Fuck, that's no good, bro. Uh, I'm lying to you, can't you? On the podcast. <laughs> Fucking got you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> Fucking cunt. <laughs> Go back to Damn Bali. It, I was about to start drinking beers. <laughs> Thinking that we didn't have to film tomorrow. Yeah, no, we're going to try and get one done. All right, where were we? Ah, uh, yes, the money shot straight to the face. <laughs> Who would like to go first? I recommend holding your breath. This is basically a breath holding competition. Are you allowed to cover your nose? No. Good. Because I had a feeling Michael was going to do that. I will win this. All yeah. right, here we go, I Michael. As 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 you can't stand too what, close, uh, Matt, you'll because you're losing, us. you get to choose. Scissors, want... paper, rock. Oh, Michael, scissors, goes, paper, no, rock. Michael goes first. He's winning. Scissors, scissors paper, paper, rock. Ah! <laughs> you go first, baby. I want to know what I gotta be. All right, Matt, you will receive the first money shot. Here this shit is honestly. This will give you fucking cancer. No, it can. So as soon as you raise your right hand, I will stop. You understand? In three, you must face the deodorant. Two, one. That's five seconds. It's a big load. A big, hot, stinky load. Yeah, that's it. 15 seconds there, Brown. That's a massive load. A huge basketball team. They're all finishing. Wow, this is a very good effort. Fucking hell, Matt. You didn't raise your hand up. You didn't raise your hand. I didn't know you were trying to breathe. No, I was trying to keep going. (laughs) 30 seconds is pretty good, dude. That's fucked. I'm fuck. Okay. Okay. I'm ready for mine. All right. Matt got 30 seconds and 79 microseconds. That's a massive load. That's a big money shot. Oh my god! Yeah, what's the score in fucking fucking? It's three two to you. All right, fuck that! I'm pulling out on this one. All right, here we go. Ready and go. He can win. He can win. You Are you stopping? Pussy. You stopping? Yep. Fuck, Michael. Two seconds. I'm fucking health is more important. I'm gonna win in the oh end. Oh my god, Matt, you won. <laughs> Matt won. We should have made Michael go first. That's bullshit, That's bro. I was playing and he went, I just wanted to make him do that. You were breathing while I was doing it. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> fucked. Man, it's fucked the room now. 
And also, wow, what a it's be- three all. What a strong segment. It is three all. Matt's won the last three in a row. This is fucking crazy. That's man. okay. I can. I want you to come back. This make is it fucking closer. crazy. I'm gonna bro. make sure that I win from now on. That that challenge is my weakness because you know how scared I am of deodorant. It's gonna be deodorant cans every episode. All right, let me quickly. Oh. All right, all right, guys, let's move on oh. to a very special. Who's the better Brown? Very, now I'm gonna very use my special. Brain after being, yeah, yeah. You've just gotten fucking minerals. Oh, it's in the air, isn't it? Yeah, it's fucking. It's everywhere, phosphate, baby. Phosphate back to flare Should I wash my face? Isn't nah, it? nah, it's good. All right, can you press the button for who's the better Brown? <laughs> we don't have one, do we? We don't have one. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for who is the better Brown, Brown, where we contact Browns from all around the world and we call them and we ask them a series of Brown themed trivia questions. Whoever gets more right, not only gets money, but is the better Brown, which is far more important than money. We're up to $600 tonight, man. Holy shit! Yeah, exactly. What, how, how does Brown get it if he for Cologne gets to if, a thousand? If he win, he if he gets to two thousand, <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, but he's got all season, and he's a clever, clever Brown. All right. Oh, not if it's AFL questions. No, these these it's aren't always these Brown related. Brown related. Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. We're gonna <laughs> call Jonathan Brown. As if it's Jonathan Brown. It's gonna be so funny if that's true. Hello. Hello. Is this uh, Mr. Jonathan Brown? It is. How are you, mate? You're on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast, and we've got you here with our uh, very own Brown, the Matthew Brown. How are you, mate? It's not Matthew Brown, my brother, is it? Well, mate, it could be. That's We don't know. There are so many Browns. That's why we started this segment, because we want to find out who the very best <laughs> Brown is out of them all. He could be a long-lost brother of mine. Uh, yeah, well, we've had your dad and sister on just coincidentally, so you guys could be related. But There's just, a few of us. As long as, we, as long as we're better than that bloke that's just he's been put in jail, the old American rapper. Who oh, remain unknown. Oh, you know? oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We, look, we're going to get into these trivia questions, John. So the six hundred dollars. It's, it's jackpotted to six hundred dollars this week, um, John. So uh, if you win this, not only do you win six hundred dollars, you also win the very prestigious <laughs> Better Brown Award. All right. So, oh, I love it. I love it. A horse run on Saturday. So. <laughs> well, there you go. Straight on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number one. Which song has more streams on YouTube? Is it Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison? Or is it Charlie Brown by Coldplay? Matt? I'll Brownie. Th- All right, yeah, you go, John. Yeah, you How are we doing this? Yeah, you, you go, go, you go first, John. You, you go first, John. You're the guest. You get to go first. Yeah. It'd have to be... Um, what was the last one, Charlie? Um, Charlie Brown by Coldplay or Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison? I think it's... Brown-eyed girl late in the night. Well, we've had a few, uh, and we get. Can- yeah, so- I think so. I'm going to say brown-eyed girl. All right, brown-eyed girl. What do you reckon, Matt? I think Jonathan has gone with his heart and not with his head. I think it's Coldplay. Ooh. All right, the answer Ooh. is Charlie Brown by Coldplay oh. with 158 million streams. That's fucking insane. Yeah, all right, I'm one nil to Matt. One nil to Matt. Fucking hell. All right, here we go. Question number two. We'll throw it to you first, John. What is a brown cafe in Amsterdam? Is it A, a breakfast bar that serves chocolate patisseries? Is it B, an English-style pub? Or C, a fast food chain? Brown cafe. Um, I'm going to have to go with the first answer. A breakfast. Uh, a, 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 was it a breakfast club? A breakfast bar that serves chocolate patisseries. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go with that answer. All right. Um, I'm going to go with a English style cafe. English style pub? Oh, pub, whatever you said. English style. <laughs> All right. The answer is fucking English style pub. I would have I'd never yeah. thought. I'd, I definitely would have thought a breakfast bar as well because we've been to those cafes. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like Rupert. brown chocolate. It's the same thing. Isn't that the the weed? No, no they, they're just called uh, coffee shop cafes or some shit. 
Not what's like called, what is it called? A brown cafe? Yeah, I don't. I fucking, I don't know. You Browns, brown. you Browns have marked the world <laughs> in the weirdest way. There's brown shit going on everywhere. <clears throat> anyway, oh, so there's going to have to be a three. Yeah, you're going to have to get all these yeah, gone to beat him. You. All right, here we go. To come back. All right. all right, question number three. British fragrance company Molten Brown. <laughs> Was, oh, was, was founded was founded in which year? I'll take the closest answer. 1963. It just popped into my head. Just right. like that. All right, 1963, Matt. I'm going to go 1950. 1950. All right, Holy the answer shit. is 1971. John's come back. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. we've right. got a match. Yeah. All right, 2-1 now. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Question number four. See, we're going to come back to the idea. <laughs> <laughs> Popular cartoon character Charlie Brown wears a collared shirt that is which colour? I'll throw it to you first, Matt. Me? Yes, you. Um, collared shirt is Charlie Brown. Fuck. Gotta watch that. Anytime now, Matt. Uh, I'm going to go black. All right, black. All right, John, what do you reckon? Uh, I'm here. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with brown. Oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a clever answer. But the answer is yellow. You're both wrong. All right, it's still two yeah. one, two one. All right, that's still okay. tight. You can go to a sudden yeah, death okay. if you get this. Yeah, that's yeah. it. If you get this, it goes to a tiebreaker. All right. All right. Question number five. Auntie Donna's sketch, Morning Brown. Has how many views on YouTube? Oh, Matt, we'll throw it to you first. What's Morning Brown about again? Uh, coffee. Yeah, it's a it's a, a comedy sketch about coffee. Uh, I'm gonna go three point one million. Three point one million is Matt's guess. All right, John, what do you reckon? Crazy. No, Jesus, you boys would do. You boys would do three point one million. Um, and then Annie Donna's got you all covered. I would have thought. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to say 8.9 million. Oh, no, actually, no. I only need to cover 3.1 million. So I only need to be higher, don't I? I'm yeah, going to say right. 4 million. The answer. Oh, shit. Is 1 million and 90,000 oh. views. Maddie. No. Oh, <laughs> Maddie's done it again. No. That's four in a row, Matt. You fucking sick brown. You're a fucking brown brown, dude. Morning That's brown, cr- morning brown. Have you had your morning He's brown? He's fucking got it. Unlucky, John. He's fucking on song lately. He's oh, I'm sorry, it. John. I, get, I feel sad when I win. It's gone to $800 for next week. Yeah, that's $800 now next week. That's very good. So do you win anything, Maddie? Or you just do it for the love of it, Matt. Just Matt, for the humiliation of us. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, just the love. If Matt can get it to two thousand dollars, he wins the two grand, and then we start oh, again. Oh, you love it. Yeah, so he's got to win ten right. in a row. So it's yeah. very tough for him. But. but but Johnny, so so what's going on? What's going on, mate? Since you since you finished footy, I've seen you on a few footy shows. Now that the season's about to kick back off. What else are you up to? We're, we're, we're back into it. I've just retired from we did Brecky Radio for Nova in Melbourne for seven years with. Sam Pang and Chrissy Swan. Yeah. And just retired now to take the kids to school in the morning. And I don't know what's fucking worse. Putting <laughs> up with Pang and Chrissy Swan or <laughs> trying to get your 13 year old daughter out the door after she's curled her lashes for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> get me back sound. to a 4 a.m. alarm clock. It is driving me mad. <laughs> uh, oh so, uh, so, hey. Spending time with your family is overrated, boys. So don't retire. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll let my missus know. That, yeah, yeah, fuck. Now I'm not going to have kids. <laughs> yeah. now, you, now you know why Tom Brady, when he retired last year, and he's married to a supermodel, but he has got three kids. He unretired after 40 days. So it's good enough for him to do it. It's good enough for us all. <laughs> oh, well, so what's the... Well, we're going to have to come up with something to do. What's the next thing? Absolutely. Well, we're doing the podcast at the moment, boys. I, I, we'd love to be as big as you guys, but I do a you know, podcast with Campbell Brown, former oh, Hawthorne, Gold Coast legend. I'm not sure you'd remember his performances at the Gold Coast, but he... He absolutely pillaged that club with the paycheck. Didn't do a lot on the field, uh, but he was a all-time premiership player, and uh, so we do. We do that. Um, it's, it's about footy, but general stuff, having plenty of fun. So, so what's yeah, that? What's uh, that podcast called? 
Brownies podcast. Brownies so, podcast. That's fucking yeah, perfect. We're, we're going to have to get Matt on. Yeah, yeah exactly Matt right. Matt on as a special guest. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> just have three, so. three Browns yeah, just, on the same podcast. Yeah, just That's Browns on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll chance. probably be an improvement, boys. Don't worry about that. But, uh, it's, uh, so we have, we have plenty of We do that twice a week and keep these updated during the footy season and Oh, well, always, there you go. Uh, all these sorts of things. So, uh, and, and following the mighty Brisbane Lions, so we're excited about the footy this year. So hopefully the, it's been 20 years since we won a premiership. Uh, yeah, mate. Well, yeah, so as you left, I was it just, all sort of went downhill, yeah, didn't it? You've got to go back. You might have to come out of retirement like Tom Brady. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Instead of spending time with the family. But um, <laughs> it's been, uh, you know, 20 years. I caught up with all the boys. Um you know, all we had a 20 year premiership reunion this year. Uh, um, we're just gone, and uh, geez, it was a big, it was a big, uh, big uh, few hours. A few of the boys have put on a bit of weight. <laughs> yeah. Mac is still doing handstands. He's uh, still <laughs> cheating in golf, I think. Um, <laughs> all those sorts of things. But uh, it was good to catch up with the boys. But I reckon it's time for the new crop to move into and win their own premiership. Yeah, <laughs> fuck yeah, mate. Well, I hope so. It's, yeah, it has been a bloody long. I didn't even realise it was that long. But yeah, oh, it's wow. been 20 yeah. years. Fucking hell. That's getting nice. a bit long, getting a bit long on the tooth now. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So we, so we got that. We're still in, still in Melbourne. Got, uh, as I said, got the kids um, and uh, and cracking into footy season. So, apart from that, boys, not a hell of a lot else going on. All right. Well, fuck, mate. That's um. Well, yeah. che- cheers for coming on and participating. And there you go, everyone. If you if you want to follow Brownie, um, you know, doing his footy podcast. Uh, what is it? Brownie's Boys on Spotify, YouTube, and all your podcast streaming platforms. Give him a gaze, guys. That's right. Brownie's podcast. It, uh, it'll be a good listen. We'll have a bit of fun. And uh, we'll get the great Matt Brown on at some stage just to get a few more listeners in. 100%, <laughs> mate. Get him on. I oh, appreciate that. Beautiful. Power right of the yeah. Brown. Power of the Browns. All right, mate. We'll let you go. But um, thanks again, mate. And we'll chat soon, eh? Good on you, lads. Great talking to you. All the best. No See you, mate. Yeah, mate. Catch ya. Bye. Holy uh, shit! John Brown. How did you know him, man? How did you get Jonathan Brown? <laughs> Pretty crazy, what hey. What do you mean, man? He's just a brown. Man, I remember There's when- There's no way Jonathan Brown just goes there. I'll have a go. <laughs> we were fucking at high school. When Dude, you, I remember I used what, to love yeah. Jonathan Brown, used to man. always talk about I used to, him. I'd, we'd go, I'd go to the games and I'd be, I'd, I'd get there early to see him rock up and I'd fucking, yeah, I'd be yeah, like, be my dad, be my dad. <laughs> yeah, John I Brown. Remember, I remember watching the footy with you and you'd always be like, that's Jonathan Brown. Yeah. Look, Jonathan I just Brown. love him because he was a huge dude and he'd just bowl people over. And he was always just s- such a side. Marco, he'd fucking, he just fucking like, he, cause you like AFL scary. If you're sprinting for the ball, you're looking up and you don't know if there's some cunt sprinting at you in the other direction. So Brownie was literally known for fucking just sprinting as fast as he could. And he would get fucking hammered. Man, it was good to watch. You'd feel safe with him in a room with heaps of priests. Uh, yeah. hundred percent. He would protect you. hundred oh, yeah. percent. He would. He'd be a protector. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. There you go, Jonathan That's so Brown. That's crazy. Well done for Clarnet. <laughs> you beat Jonathan you Brown, beat Jonathan dude. Jonathan Brown. Who's the better Brown? That's crazy. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Jonathan Brown. Oh, fucking hell. All right, let's fucking move along and fucking lie to some cunt cunt. Yeah, so Connor, here we go. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, let's, mate. Let's lie to you're Connor. You're going to be editing man. this right now and you're yeah. going to see that we got you. All right, so I'm going to call Connor and I'm going to say, hey, mate, um, we've literally just had two strikes in the last 12 hours. Um, we're going to They're have going to, through all our old podcasts. Yeah, we're going to have to um, stop the podcast for a bit on, on fucking... Um, all right. Yeah, yeah, I guess that. All right. That's, that's that. And Elias is quitting Cracker Mouth. Yeah, hello? Well, Hey, dude, how are you? You got a second? Oh, yeah, yeah, hey, how are you? Oh, man, a bit distressed, to be honest. We've just, um, we've had two fucking podcasts from season one removed in the last 12 hours, um, and we're on two strikes now, so we're gonna, we're just fucking, I've just got uh, Michael putting all the videos on private. Can they still delete them if they're on private, do you know? Uh, fuck. Um... I don't think so. I don't. I, I when we got our little strike, I put them all on private, yeah. snuck them away. Yeah, well, I think we do it. And yeah, I was talking to Michael today. I think we're gonna have to like just 
like we're just going to have to wait a month because we can't post for a month now, obviously. And um, yeah, we're just going to have to rein it right in because this is just unsustainable. We're, we're going to get fucking. It's just going to get deleted, and all our hard work's going. <laughs> you you want to rein it in? Well, you know what I mean, like with the with the things that we say, like we can't we can't fucking. Like Matt's black book and shit. Imagine that someone manually listening to that. Of course, they're gonna fucking delete that shit. Ah. Uh, so I think uh, it's fucking. What are you gonna do? Like private all the dude, old ads? I don't know. Well, yeah, to start with, and then when we come back in like a month or so, we're just gonna have to be like really, really like well, not family friendly, obviously, but just far less no sexual shit and just. I don't know, man. Like a fuck. What do you do? I'm going to try and jump on Rumble or something, but like we're going to have like fucking 10 listens. Yeah. I mean, like hopefully people just go there, right? Because the majority of the people watching are on Spotify. Yeah. Well, yeah. Dude, I just got so fucking high and now you're telling me all this. Yeah. I'm so, like, I'm so sorry, dude. Well, I was just calling to let you know, like, yeah, we, we obviously there's not going to be a podcast to edit for the next month. For the next month, is that how long the strike is? Ninety. Yeah, if you get if you get two two strikes, yeah, you can't post for a month. We can't post for a month. No fucking way. Yeah, I know, dude. So, like, I literally don't know what we're gonna do now. Fucking Why don't you just YouTube. Up- upload like for the the next month up to fucking Rumble, mate? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Possibly. And then and then slap release them all when it's when the strikes up. Yeah, I want to try yeah. and like I want to try and like just get a bit of an audience over there first, and then because otherwise, yeah, God, we've just sunk so much money in this fucking podcast, and now this shit's happening. I fucking called it. How many? How many strikes? Like what? So two today in one day. Two in one day. One when I woke up, and then got another one like a couple of hours ago. So we've just been fucking panicking, thinking like if we could, we could literally get another one right now, and that's the channel gone. This is this your are you having me on? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're lying oh. to you, Connor. We're lying to you. That's very rude. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh my Connie Connor. You believed it for a bit, idiot. Have an ice cream. <laughs> Have a twister. Have, nice- Have a magnum. <laughs> An ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a weird insult, Michael. A Thanks for that, guys. That's a that's a good um that's a good little heart stopper there for a bit. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you just had weed. You would have been fucking so wigging. Oh, dude, that's unkind. <laughs> the only time this, this fucking podcast has me on is when I'm unbelievably fake. <laughs> have you been um Harry Pottying? Nah, man, fuck that shit. I'm out of that. I've oh, left it behind. Did you finish it's it? Gone. No, nah, didn't finish it. Got just over it. Yeah, it's just not for me. Yeah. It's a little too much. Okay, good. I got half Luma. an hour in and turned it off, Connor. Oh, did you really? You stopped playing as well. Oh, you got yeah. halfway through, did you say? Half an hour into the oh, game, right. and I was like, this is shit. And I turned it off. Yeah, it's so shit. So went, went really? back to Fortnite. I'd need oh, like two weeks of nothing to do and just weed, weed, weed. Yeah, are you guys still sober? Yeah, day 52, baby. So, Oh, holy shit. Yeah. Me too, actually. Uh, day 52 for me. <laughs> unhealthier than ever. <laughs> unhealthier? Well, yeah, yeah, fucking health scares left, right, and center. But anyway. We'll, no, you're okay. You'll we'll, be fine. We'll push that to the back of our minds for now. I yeah, miss you, very deep. I miss you too, man. I'll let you guys. Thanks for fucking with me. Appreciate it so much. That's Dude, awesome. Glad yeah. it was over. We had Jonathan yeah. Brown on. You don't know who Jonathan Brown on who, who Jonathan Brown is, do you? No, who's that? He's he, he's a, he used to be a really massive big football player, and he was on for Who's the Better Brown. It was very funny. Anyway, dude, oh. we'll fucking let you go. We'll fucking let you go and suck down some bongs. And you fucking have a bong, and you think of us, cunt. Sorry. Thank you so much, fellas. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Have, sorry. have an ice cream sorry, too, mate. Sorry. Have an, sorry about that. Sorry. 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 Everyone. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> It kind of, like it, he was believing it, yeah, bro. We so stressed we'll him it. out. As we'll long as you stress it. him out, yeah. then that's the point of a lie. Goal is you achieved. make someone uncomfortable. Yeah, baby. We want everyone to be uncomfortable and, and really not avoid want to avoid our calls. Anxiety is key. We want people to not want to be around us. Mental illness, low. I'm getting there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really. Sometimes. No. Sorry. Oh. 
all right, guys, looks like we're going to move right along, hey? Let's do a little bit of Q&A. Q&A. How long have we been going for, you fucking pig um, cunt? One hour. Just clicked over. That's a for Is this a shit episode? I don't know. Anyway, all right, Q and A. We're going to answer some of your questions. If you want us to answer your question, comment on the Marty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So after you've commented your question, have a scroll through and like the other questions that you want us to answer. Yeah. And while you're at it, fucking subscribe and five star review on Spotify. Quickly do it now. It only takes a second. All you got to do on Spotify is scroll to the very top of our. So you put in Marty Michael Fully Actual. You scroll to the very top and then you click on the star button and then you go five star rate show. Yeah. Please do it. Sorry. All right, Brown, what do you got for us, cunt? Let's fucking hear it, right. slag bitch. Uh, top question went to Teddy Gray on stuff. Um, this question's sort of been asked before, but in different ways, but it did get top. Um, so if um, if you woke, if you woke up in an, in um, if you if you had the chance to wake up in someone else's body yeah. between Marty, uh, Michael, me, me, Julian, me, James, Ryan, and, and Cooper, Cooper, whose would you want to wake up in? James's. I just want to see what it's like to be that healthy and that str- and that and, muscle and and just like it'd just be so, especially at the moment, it'd just be so. There'd be no anxiety because you know you're gonna live to at least one hundred. Yeah, yeah, it would feel good to fucking like feel, he's he's like to look if, and, and I'd good. wake up in James' body and I would go and fucking trash it for a good month. <laughs> I would go. You know, he can he can take it. He can take it. Yeah. And it's like there's so many drugs that James hasn't like done much yet, so it's still at the really fun stage. Does Imagine he get the MD memories? with James? Yeah, I know. You'd dude. be peaking, having the biggest <laughs> peak ever. Dude, it would be I the know. best. Does he remember it all <laughs> while you're in there? Hey? Would he remember everything that you did in his what, body? Yeah. Well, what do you get to live that forever? Imagine, he'd be in one of our bodies and he'd be watching us go fucking nuts, <laughs> partying and shit. <laughs> Stop that! Yeah. Stop I just that. have sex with heaps of men. Yeah, I just, I just flex his muscle at people. Get, get AIDS right? for him. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, his immune system would fight it off like that. Bloody oath, can't. I've seen it happen. Sorry. <laughs> what about you, Matt? James as well. Um, I'd wake up in Julian's body and then I'd just dive head first into an empty pool. <laughs> <laughs> Julian. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Julian. I didn't mean that. But I would. <laughs> <laughs> but I would do it. <laughs> oh, shitman, shitman, shitman. Sorry, Michael? I'd go James. Oh, okay, and sorry. as I said, yeah, man, I'd just fuck heaps of blokes. <laughs> All right, next question is from Stephen Klaus. Oh, that's right. So um, uh, would you ever do a science experiment to see which one of your editors, Julie, James, or even Matt, I don't edit, um, can stand the most amount of pain? No, we can't do that to our editors. We, They're they too they afraid to hurt James. They don't. Well, not only that, even just fucking Ryan and Cooper, like they don't come here for that shit. Like it's very, it's intense and the shit that we do. So it's like you wouldn't ever ask that of them because they're probably so polite they'd probably say oh okay I'll give it a go and deep down they'd be like no fucking way just let me sit at my computer and do my work and go home cunt yeah well like I guess the only thing similar to that is we did a video where we see who's the most dangerous employee yeah, they, they hurt us to us yeah so like that's as far as we'll go with the for and that's on the website and they like you know whip us and do all this sorts of shit with to us and uh yeah we figure out who the most who which employee hurts the most it's beautiful Sorry. next question is from levi levitova levi i'm sorry levi levitova depending where he's from um michael uh does michael ever successfully run away from pain yeah man i guarantee if you get hurt, if like your dad or mum hurts you, if you if your uncle comes into your room, run. If you if you are like if you get broken up with by your girlfriend, you run. If you if you are like if you do too many drugs, run away. If you see brown, if you like if you feel sick, run away. If something hits you, if you're in a car accident, run. Run for it, your life. If a shark is about to attack you in the water, run away. It's easy run away and it works it pr- i promise you it works we, we know it works because we've done an ex- extensive experiments and the no reaction vids they fucking hurt more 
it yeah yeah like because you can't move and then you just have to sit with the pain if your body is operating sweat <laughs> your body is operating then it's like oh fuck me i can't i can forget i can forget about this trauma that's occurred on my body mama mama but yeah back to if you anyone who gets taken by a shark run fucking run away uh, next question, Marty. What happened to the love potion you were using to cure your heart last oh, time? For, for, for yeah, sure. that was um, that worked for a while, but it's it's sort of a lot yeah. of the natural medicines they lose their um, yep. you sort of you sort of build a tolerance up to them pretty quick, so you got to change it up. But yeah, the love stuff did work, and I and I'm on, on, on I take like magnesium now. I take NAC because um, NAC. it could be spike proteins attacking me me heart that's what one of the doctors reckons I'm on all this natural shit like NAC there's Hawthorne um, high levels of vitamin D help um, fucking what else is there yeah all, all sorts of natural shit to, a bunch of magnesium um, to, to try and fucking clear it out of my system and pussy nah. <laughs> next question is from Dylan S if you, <laughs> he says dog shot, but he means king hit, depending on where you are. Like Same dog shit. shots anyone in the world. Oh my god, I fucking wait. Mean. Can you wait? Let me ask a question. Queen Elizabeth's corpse. If you could dog shot one celebrity, who would it be? Man, so dog it, shot is either king hit oh, or I hero know. punch. I'll fucking Bill Gates. Would, Bill Gates or Fauci. Oh king man, hit. I would love I would to fucking, fucking lay one on that car. Oh, I'd make sure I killed him with one hit. Yeah, I'd yeah. Make sure I would of it. Fucking end his life. Sorry. Matt? Oh, it's a free hit. A free hit. I don't know. Um, Probably, um, I don't know. Celeb- they're not really celebrities to me, though. They're like politicians. You guys got to pick a celebrity. Bill Gates isn't a politician. Oh, Bill Gates is probably more of a celebrity, I guess. All right. Well, um, okay. Well, how about we go? We'll stick to like an actor. An actor? Um, I would go Reese Witherspoon. Oh, poor Reese. Marty? Um... <laughs> No, I wouldn't go. I can't believe you guys didn't react at that. Like, it's yeah. okay to hit her. Well, the, There's well, no you, way I'd hit you've Reese. You've been Witherspoon. serious the entire podcast. She's not. Nah, she's fine. Um, okay, so you go, I'll think. Um, maybe, um, fuck. Um, what about, um, you know, that, that actor from Breaking Bad? Um, fucking. Um, Jesse Pinkman? No, um, the main guy, mm. his son. Fuck, I can't even picture him. Okay, so the son of the dad in Breaking Bad. Yeah, the the you know the main actor in Breaking yeah. Bad. What's his name? Uh, my brain's not gonna be able to remember that. Yes, it is, Matt. You can do this. Okay, so I don't know a fucking actor that I hate that much. Hey, I I don't know. I was just I was just, right uh, right that's now. That's not true. I was this, just trying to be funny. Maybe you know, like I'd um, hit Will Smith at the moment. Oh yeah, he Will shat Smith, he yeah. shat me with slapping Chris Rock. So yeah, Will Smith, I'd go for yeah, maybe that or like that fucking the girl from Matilda. The, the new Matilda. No, the oh, old Oh, the one. old Matilda. I can't the, remember the girl, what's her name. The little girl. You, so you're not trying to be sorry, funny yeah, too. You yeah, guys yeah. are not funny. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'd, I'd probably go. <laughs> no, no, I would go Reese with a spoon. Yeah, yeah. With a spoon. <laughs> sorry. I, so sorry, I can't. Yeah. Be funny. Just, yeah, fucking Bill Gates, man. Yeah. I would. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> that question got so um, boring. Uh, with Jeremy. You ruined it. Jeremy. Jeremy Piven. Okay, done. I don't know who that is. I he's uh, Jeremy. he's Ari in um. No, no, I love he. that cunt. <laughs> I fucking love that cunt. It's the first Jeremy I could think of. Mark Wahlberg. No, nah, love that cunt. Fuck, man, it's hard. I can't think of people that I hate heaps. What about I uh, would um look I'll I'll fucking Lizzo. Hit Tom Hanks cunt. I'll fucking yeah. Hit I would fuck. Yeah, Michael Tom would, would do Tom Hanks. I yeah, know yeah, that. I'd yeah. probably yeah, I'd have a good swing at him. <laughs> he's wronged us. He's a regular watcher of the show. And if you're watching, I feel this like time, everyone got so serious about their answers. Then who would you? I said Will Smith because he slapped oh, yeah. Chris Rock Fuck and made a big brain. deal. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Will Smith's wife. wife. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Will Smith with his wife. Yeah, it's so next to each other, so you get a freebie. No, you use her. Yeah, as use the her fist. as the fist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was trying to be funny. Yeah. Reese Witherspoon. We're not very funny today. Anyway. anyway. Um, Shall I open the mince bottle? No. All right. Final question uh, is from Tim. Tin. Tim Mostre. Tim Mostre. 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 Depending where Tim is from, Mostre. Um, 
If dogs could write books and stories, what would Bosley's autobiography be titled? I'm not sure (laughs) would be the title. I'm not sure. Because he's a very um, timid... um, if he doesn't understand something as usually he he fears it and uh yeah so it's, it takes him a long time to trust objects. objects and and people and humans as well so yeah he's just always a bit unsure but when you do have his trust it's the most wonderful thing in the world yeah he's so beautiful yeah he's a very, very wonderful thing except when he stepped I actually on the abused cords. him yeah, before I abused at the beginning before, of this yeah. podcast so sorry about that but, but he would he, he would Bosley. have deserved the abuse if he had stepped on that cord like he nearly Oh man, yeah, I shouldn't have just I acted out of rage. I reckon the whole set would have gone with him. Yeah, true. If we yelled too much, he would have brought it all down. <laughs> Do you remember that time you yelled at him when you got caught under the table in the first season of the podcast? Yeah, you that's caught what... on the cords and you yelled at him and he panicked and like couldn't get out. <laughs> yeah, oh, I felt bad for that. He reacts to yelling. He's 10 in like um one two in 3 weeks he's 10 years old. Really? Yeah. Are we having a party? Yes. Probably if we're going to film a website video with it. Yeah. Okay. Like, let's just on, give her Let, a break. Let's have bong break and then I'll quickly explain that. Bong break, bong break. Everyone oh, enjoy. Bong break, bong break. Everyone enjoy. Bong break. Bong break. Everyone enjoy. Bong break, bong break. Toy, toy, toy. Oh, no, I don't know about the ending on that. And we're back. By the way, guys, we still, we we have yet to start Matt's Tinder. We're definitely still going to do that. I didn't so, even know you said you were going to do that. Have you yeah. even mentioned that to anyone? I think, yeah, someone mentioned it in a comment. We said, yeah, 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 we're doing that. You haven't that. said you to anyone you're going to do that. And I still said no. I swear it was on the podcast we yeah, said 100%. It. See, we're going to get you girls. I don't want you guys. Haggard, <laughs> haggard, haggard girls. <laughs> That's they're gonna, even worse. They're going to rock up unannounced at all hours. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, we're going to fucking get them here and you'll get- Ready to suck your brown load down their throats. Do not start a Tinder on my behalf. No, and do not, this, I'm sorry, Matt. It's too Do good. not we bring to. anyone Dude, to okay, this house. We, won't we bring promise anyone you here. you won't get a relationship. You, they will just be cum dumps for you. Yeah, they'll just be cop like, pumps. Connor cut cum dumps, so you can't put that on the project. <laughs> Connor, we're leaving that here. Or just beep it. <laughs> or can you beep it as he says it? <laughs> we kind of, that's where Matt draws the line. He's such a gentleman. Oh, I don't draw the he line even at cum dumps. like a gentleman. I don't draw the line at cum dumps. I'm just saying we can't say it. <laughs> what do you sitting? mean? We're not going to get you normal women. We're going to get you broken, haggard bushes. No, I don't want any. Say no. I don't look, want any woman from no, no, look, you. All right. You have to give me the choice. If you have any right. inkling to bring them and you have to promise, you have to run it by me before you bring any of them. That Deal. way I can say no. Deal, Brown. And it's just going to be no every time. Deal, Brown. You have our word. You have our word, Brown. So we hang shake on. hands on this. Before we shake. What does that do to your little segment? What do you mean? If I'm just going to say no so every well, single well, look, time. I think it's just funny if we talk. We'll at- just stir them up. And then what, how's it going to come out on the podcast? Hey, what are you going to show we'll, the pictures we'll and the read, messages? Yeah, we'll, we'll read, read the, the conversations out. out. I don't know. It'll be good. I trust, trust I us, Brown. It's boring. Trust us, Brown. Brown. Come on. Shake on it, Brown. You abs- 110% cannot bring anyone here without my permission. You can't bring them or call them or nothing without my permission. <laughs> Pat, I a promise Brown. you. I would never do that to you, Matt. Fingers out front. I want no cro- Michael. I fucking hate you, both of you. Sorry. Honor and respect, cunt. And that's what we're about. Underneath our southern lawned crossed. I shouldn't have. I should have asked for more. Look, we'll start that. When, when do you start having your Mondays off? Not next Monday, the Monday after. Not next week, the week after. So in like, as you're listening to this in two episodes time, we'll start that segment. All right, moving along. Michael's movie, Michael's movie, Michael's, Michael's movie, movie reviews. reviews. Michael's, Michael's movies, movies Michael's, Michael's movies, movies, Michael's, Michael's pissing your shoes. All right, Michael is now going to review the movie 300, which is a task that Matt gave him last week. Matt, what do you give the movie out of 10 before we hear Michael's review? Well, 
a movie in itself. Actually, no, I really liked it. It was the first time Zack Snyder did like a comic book adaption or hey. one of the first anyway. I don't, I don't think it was his first, but a comic. He made a movie from a comic. Hey. Um, and um, yeah, it was just fucking cool. What? Shut up. <laughs> the fuck was that? And Jared Butler has a six pack. Oh. So out of 10, what is the Fekliner? Six pack. Seven. Pack. Wow, okay. And this is Sparta is amazing. Now, I was going to just randomly say that the movie is based off a comic book without even knowing it's based off a comic book. Yeah, it looks like a comic book. Oh, is it based off a comic is book? It, it? Yeah, it's based oh, yeah, off a comic book. That's why it looks oh, like a comic shit. book. I was just going to say that, but, but there's I was real actors. right. Is that animated? No. Sorry. Just, so I was right without even well, doing- Hang on, no, sorry. It's not a comic book. It's a uh, uh, fucking- It's a story. Adaptation. It's a movie. It's an um, adaptation. We'll call it a movie. It's a movie about uh, three hundred men. Like a sorry. It's like a it's like a anyway, movie. Anyway. Look, it's kind of like a movie, and it's like loosely true story. I can't believe it. I fucking don't even need to do research. I'm a fucking encyclopedia. Le- Leonardo is a real person. The king. Okay, there's a few things that I'm okay. One thing, what was stupid about the film was Jared Butler has like a massive pride and ego issue. He should have just given a bit of land and water to the king. And then he's not, not, his wife wouldn't have got fucked. He wouldn't have got all these men dead. He's selfish. And it was stupid. But he was standing up for his people. Oh, pride. And, and his principles. Yeah, yeah we'll God. see. We'll see when we get invaded. By China? Well, yeah, yeah, true. I'll be hiding. Anyway, now- We'll be on the front line together and I can't wait, cunt. <laughs> I'm, it's going to be so funny. Oh. <laughs> Dude, it'll be like one big video. <laughs> But if we yeah, fuck, we'll film it. fuck up. Put some GoPros on the head. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Julian, now, look. Julian will be on. Sorry. It's very, very sex. Yeah, it's hot. So I could tell I could. I, no, I, that's one I had to sit it. through a sex scene with James and it's it felt Greek. like. It felt, it felt naughty. It's Greek. <laughs> James was in the room. We were watching sex together. It's Greek. James could be in 300. Anyway. Um, okay. There's. Fuck me. So this. Some fuckwit says, and I'm going to say his name is Michael Fassbender. Yeah, good actor. Oh, fuck, dude. It's so... He's cringe and... What does he say? You haven't said what he says. You say he's cringe. We are with you, sire. We are with you, sire, for spot. Yeah, yeah. Till death. Yeah. Like, dude, it yeah, made kinda, me kinda fucking. Well, I wanted to bash him because like, as warriors, that, their the greatest achievement is to die in and battle. Shit, it's so like wanna be like. Oh yeah, but fuck you! Don't talk like that. First off, and don't have that facial expression. And it just came out of the blue, and it pissed me off. And I just got real rage to bash him. <laughs> and dying in battle is not that hard. Just don't fight back. Oh. God, dude, it was so stupid. It was just cringe and shit. And yeah, it was. It, That's it, it. That's the whole thing. Is he said and that? And he's fucking German. No. What? Yeah. Wer's Deutsch? So he fucking, he's German, that Michael Fassbender. Fassbender. Yeah, yeah, he's a good actor. Yes. But Fassbender. German. That's one of Fuck. his earlier films. Michel Fassbender. This just explains a lot, the cringe. Well, come on. That's all you've given like me. I like him now. When Astinus loses his head, it was just silly. Was oh, the son of the yeah, captain. That was, yeah. As if you wouldn't hear a fucking horse riding. Do, 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 do. He's just standing looking at his dad like a dickhead. <laughs> fucking dumb why what didn't he it? run away or duck or some he, shit why didn't have ears use your ears <laughs> can't explain fucking that mate, so can shit dude this is the thing with action films man it's so unrealistic and it pisses me off the only thing that saves this film is that they all die <laughs> 300 men can't win and it's good they didn't so finally but they killed far too many men early on it should have died in the first 10 minutes, dead, done. Well, apparently that's what happened in real life. They stood their ground. That's not a real story. Yeah. The story based of 300. On, based on a, Fuck on a story. dad, man. That's so fucking Especially dad. Especially the creatures and shit. Yeah, it's too... Oh, I must say, and look, the movie would have been good if I could have smoked weed. If I could have got high as a kite, I could have got into that because I like the whole, you know, your comic book shit and all that. It was like, wow, this is trippy. I'm enjoying this. But it was, yeah, I couldn't, I did, I'm, I'm off weed for a bit. So it was like, oh yeah, I'm just watching a, an action film. It's unrealistic and it's the colors are de- different and weird. I wonder if you'd like John Wick because the fights are re- like are really real in that. Yeah, I can't take Dude, Is that what you want is more realistic action films? 
I kind of heard John John Wick's like he kills like a thousand men and it's one man. Yeah, I know, but he but the fight scenes they do really well, like very realistic. Uh, it's just, really no, yeah. like yeah, I can't take action. I never will like it. That's what it's I mean. Is it just stupid. action or is it because it's fake? Just because it's so unrealistic. One man can't beat a thousand men. Three hundred men can't beat thirty thousand men. They would have just. Oh, I don't know. Oh man. Anyway. That happens, and then what else? Couldn't hear the horse coming. I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> this is his whole head. Can't so hear a horse. That's the whole film for him. Is that he didn't hear that horse? Did you stand up when you saw that? No, I just got like, oh, I, I even said to James watching, I was like, that's fucked. Like, use your ears. You've got two. You've already lost your head. <laughs> you fucking didn't use your head at all, did you? All right, and oh, dude, the narrator needs to be like fucking bashed um yeah he's australian his voice is so cringe do his name it. is david do, do the voice i don't know his name is david winner just so storyteller fuck off man just blah 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 can you do the it voice like man? i can't lord of the it. it was like yeah, trying yeah. to be real mystical oh, i'm glad you said lord of the rings he's in lord of the rings do the voice fuck. man oh i was like and King Leonard, oh, I can't even do it, but you know what I mean? He just does it. Yes. Is that it? Dude, you are sick when you do that. Yeah. King Leonard. He's got a weird accent in it. And um, yeah. Um, Man did the voice. But on a high, okay. But yeah, dude, that narrator fucking needs one hit. Did you like the king? All these little piercings and shit. I felt like you would have, I don't know, associated with him. I like how the, you know, he throws that spear at him at the end. Yeah. I'm so glad that didn't kill him. Because it's like, it's too much. Okay. It just grazed him. And I'm sure that would have maybe showed his people that he- Because he says that to him. He goes, by the end of this war, they'll show that a God can bleed. Oh, okay. That's linked up. That's gotten a bit sexier for me. I like, because then the people go, oh, you're not a God anymore. Because yeah. you can bleed. So yeah. I liked it. Didn't kill him. And then he died. It was good. Um, look, this is the best film you've given me so far. Oh, better than Back to the Future. That's wild. Shit's all over Back to the Future. And spot on. Yeah, I agree. Honestly, like it was right now, it goes uh, this 300. Then I'm pretty sure it's Three Musketeers. You didn't like Spotlight? Spotlight was just a bunch of office and fucking pedos. <laughs> Michael likes movies with the number three in the title. So you want a bit more action in the films. Is that what you're telling yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Well, this is too much action. No, I like realistic action. <laughs> the Departed, when Leonardo DiCaprio gets shot, that got me off. What about yeah, it? See, what that's why I think that? you would like John Wick, because what it's about, better than that. What about a rom-com for Michael? Yeah, I've got one lined up. Anyway, 300 gets a... <laughs> Five out of ten. I'm getting through some of my like childhood favorites first, and then I'll start moving. Right, five out of ten. Stuff. You guys are pretty close in the rating there. All right, what do you give him for next week? One of my all-time favorite films. Oh, don't be so passionate about now, movies. <laughs> it's now, not cool. Now I have to admit, um, I have to admit, I, well, I wanted to give you the third one in this series, but oh, I but hate I can't you, do. Right. I hate Hang when on, you wait, talk wait, movies, wait. Man. You're but, annoying me. Wait, but I couldn't do that because you just wouldn't understand anything, and we've already done that joke. Oh, so <sighs> Gypsy, close. We are gonna watch. He's <laughs> like a fucking up like dick to some party. Straight out in front of him. We are gonna watch. Well, you're gonna watch <laughs> the very first Indiana Jones film. I've seen them. They're good. Fuck off. They're not bad. Really, Indiana? Oh, should we cut that then and yeah, yeah, something else? That, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Fuck you! They're great. You like Indiana Jones, but you don't like the Mummy with Brendan Fraser. Yeah, okay. oh, Indiana yeah. Jones is shit. Indiana Jones is all right because I was a kid when I watched him, so I can get as off. As soon over as it. it starts, you know he's going to succeed. Anyway, shit. cut that. Go to another film. Fuck. You don't watch films, and you watch Indiana Jones. When I was a little girl, he had breasts. <sighs> One breast on the center of my back. God, I have to think now. Um, oh, clutch my rutch. <laughs> what about a rom com, man? Yeah, I need th I need to think about this because it has to be something that I enjoy. I think we had one lined up last week. What about love? We um, literally had another. Not love, one. actually. Oh, I do enjoy that. <laughs> oh, yuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a rom com I do like. Clueless. <laughs> not clueless. <laughs> But I actually, I generally like this one and you're going to, I don't know what you're going to think, but 
the the movie The Holiday with Jack. I've seen it. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I can leave this bit in, can't? It's good. Even the other oh, bit. Oh, wait, I got a G spot. I reckon I even leave the other bit in. That's what I reckon. You can do that with a nappy on. No, no, because it's too thick. It's hard to get in there. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck it. Right, what else you got, Matt? Have you ever seen Gone in 60 Seconds? Yeah, that's yeah. a great scene. It. Keen for this? Yeah, what is it? It's called yeah. The Horse Soldiers. <laughs> oh, my God. That's... So what? Well, okay, so this is the as only, this only works if you think it's good. You think I, this is good? This is a childhood <laughs> film. I really enjoyed it. It is really old though. It's a John Wayne film. <laughs> don't say like John Wayne like it's someone. I don't give a fuck who that is. And That's, it's it's a western. Okay, I can get into a western if it's good. I don't see. Mind. I know you can get into a western, but this is an old western that I used to watch when I was like a little baby girl. What's it rated? <laughs> Probably like PG. It's going to be I have to look under at, a one. For there's me. action though. This will be under a one. There's which is action. Why do you think he likes action? Mm. <laughs> All right. So we're watching the horseback or some shit. The horse the soldiers. Horse soldiers. Oh Basically a union battalion goes down uh, and to get behind enemy lines and take out a ra- like a, a, ra- a railway station. Wow. And that they, sounds so shit. And they pick up a racist white lady uh, on the way. And Mrs. But Doubtfire. she like becomes good in the end. But yeah. So you've given me the and plot they sing, and now I'm going to watch they it. They sing at the start. You've given me the plot and now I'm going to watch that. And then I'm meant to say that's good. They sing at the start. So when they ride and they're, they're traveling, they all sing and they go. Well, yeah, well don't give it away. They but go that's what? my wait, favorite wait, wait, bit. Wait, wait, they go what, Matt? <laughs> what do they say? They go, I left my lover letter in a hollow of a tree. Jesus Christ. Man. Man, they told her she were, would find me in the US Cavalry. If you it's were good. closer to me, I'd <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> fucking hell, this is going to be the worst yet. This is going to be a tough watch. I will watch it with you. I always put it up, but you don't want it. It's okay. I, just, I wish you would let me watch with you. I can't uh, believe we have Jonathan Brown's number. Fucking hell, this is going to be the shittest waste of a fucking night. All right. Movie. So, finish with guys today. We got the prank call. And my, we're going to do a prank call. Not be a character because it requires a little too much energy right now. Ugh. I, I know we keep saying this, but when Matt has his Mondays off, we're going to do like 10 prank calls and pick the best one. So it won't, it won't be a gamble if it's going to be a good prank call or not anymore. It will be a good prank call every week. I'm really looking forward to doing that. But for this week, we're going to do, we're going to revisit one that we've done before. Mark was going to write words on a whiteboard and I have to insert them in conversation Night pharmacy speaking with Sam. How can I help today? Hey Sam, um, I'm just uh, not feeling the best. Um, my stepdaughter's just had a bit of gastro, go figure. Um, yeah. And I think I've started getting it too. Um, so I'm just having a bit of trouble standing. Um, and I've got some sort of pink painkillers, but um, they're not really working. I've got this huge headache. And so I'm sort yeah. of lost my faith in them. Do you yeah. guys? Do you guys have anything like that sort of covers all the gastro symptoms. There's like a ringing in my ear. Um, so you got a ring in your ear as well? Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound too good. No. Um, any fever or chills or anything like that? I think I'm getting a bit of a fever, yeah, but this could be... Yeah. Um, I've recently diagnosed with an STI and I'm pretty old too, yeah. so it could be that. Yeah. Um, so... You can definitely get something to sort of help the symptoms of like the gastro. You can get something like gastro stop if you were sort of. Is it like tape? Um, having... Is it tape that you put on? It's not. Oh no, sorry, that, that's ignore me. No, no, no. It's like a tablet. Um, generally, you try and let something like that run its course. But if it is like a bug, you probably need antibiotics to fix it. Um, if the, it is like a bacterial thing. They're those round, um, those round tablets, eh? Hey? Yeah. So we can really only give pain relief. And some symptom relief for any diarrhea over the counter. Other than that, you'd have to go to the doctor. And the only other advice I could give is just trying to stay as hydrated as possible. So um, using like some sort of hydrolyte. Like that. Okay. Is it possible that I could be getting these symptoms from an insect bite? 
Um, or it would really depend what insect was it and if you had any allergies or anything like that. Well, it's happened before. Or it could before. be like a combination no, of that like bad. that and then your daughter having gastro. And yeah, well, I was listening to John Lennon and I like they got bitten by like a bunch of mosquitoes. So I was just kind of trying, mm. just trying to rule that out, but... Horns okay, David. so no. have you ever had like any issue with Ross River fever or anything in the past? Horns Davidson, no, uh, nothing diagnosed, but um, like, yeah, yeah I, I just sort of write it out and um, I got a jab um, for it. Yeah. So like, I don't okay. know. Yeah. yeah. If it doesn't go by, um, away by the morning, I'd definitely recommend a doctor's appointment, especially if you have been bitten by possibly mosquitoes because it could be like definitely Ross River or something if you're feeling in the stomach also with like the fever and everything as well roundhouse yeah okay all right go mm-hmm. figure um yeah. all right well that's um yeah completely killed my faith in the medication that i have at the moment so i might just have to pop in yeah. and, and and just see what you guys yeah. have hey yeah okay no worries all right well I'll, i might come in soon um and yeah i've got to go on holiday to japan next week so yeah i better get this okay. sorted yeah no worries all right well i'll um i'll okay, see, you we'll see you soon I'm, I'm gay okay. i'm gay Thanks. see ya Okay, bye. I got them all. I got them all. <laughs> you fucking went all through a fucking round ringing Horns Davison jab tape. I'm old insect Japan. STI standing pink faith John Lennon roundhouse and I'm gay. <laughs> Oh, that was very good. <laughs> that was that's, very good. She was fun. lovely. Yeah, that's she was fun. very lovely. Let's buy her something. Milk. Some flowers? No, let's buy her like mm. a brick. Maybe she wants to go on a date. Or an ice cream. Um, Connor? Do you reckon we could do more with that, but like really put some words in to go Yeah, through? I was trying to not go too fucker fucker. Yeah, I love go as fucker the, as you want. The best was Horns Davis. <laughs> I, th- I think you need to start off the way you did and then go, yeah. Really yeah, I think I need to give you time extreme. to write them all first and then I'll just, you just reveal them one by one. I think that'd be a good go. idea for prank calls on the Monday, write out a whole list of words. Yeah, see, see what we mean? Now it's, it's already like 8 p.m. and now we don't have time to do another one because we have to get up in the early in the morning and start filming, can't. Yeah, we got website for Kleiner. Relentless, mind. isn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, I might have a sleep in from gym though. Oh man, I should really go to the gym, but I'm really tired, eh? <gasps> man, it's so warm. Yeah, glazed with sweat. Matt oh, Brown. I'm oh, fine. Matt Brown. What are you gonna have for dinner? Chicken. I'm so <laughs> hungry, but I'm not gonna eat. <laughs> All right, everyone. Definitely Sorry for the flatness. I swear to God, we're coming back soon, stronger than ever. Bear with us. And let us know in the comments. Give us some feedback, guys. We will I get a new you. chair next week? Yeah. Hopefully. Because I'm in... No, you will. I'm broken. You will. Because you broke your, the chair. It's pretty... Oh, the chair's broken, but my back is ruined and my back life is, is back. depression. All right, guys. Uh, Matt's life is depression, so don't forget to get like the video. And we'll see you guys next week, everybody. Have we're a great best. week. We're the we're best. We're the 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 best.